Hey guys, welcome to your uh, career in money reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your July 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look and see uh, what's going on with you guys in your career and your money uh, for July. And then we'll finish off the rate to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Sagittarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. All right. So tell me about um, tell me about Sagittarius and their career and their money. What's going on with Sagittarius in their career and their money for July 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for uh sagittarius for sagittarius here i'm gonna take this one here seven of cups seems like i have options here i don't know i get i get the sense that sagittarius i feel like there has been multiple opportunities in your life that's come towards you when it comes to your career here and i feel like you missed out on these opportunities and I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that Sagittarius, I feel like you're not going to let any more opportunities pass you by anymore, okay? Uh, because of indecisiveness or indecision here with the two of wands and the two of pentacles here. It seems like you have a hard time making decisions on things here, Sagittarius. And one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, it's important to know when you're sometimes when you're indecisive, it's already des a, a decision. So allow yourself time and space to sort of like I mean, when you make a decision, sometimes you don't really have to rush here, but make sure you find time to sort of like um, to drop in to yourself and just, you know, and find the answers that you seek regarding, you know, opportunities that come towards you here. Because I do feel like, you know, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like you do have a hard time making a decision here, like I said. Um, let's see what else we have here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Look the Eight of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like you're doing a type of job right now that I feel like you quite don't really enjoy here. Some of you guys might do like hard manual labor here, such as like blue collar work. Okay. Uh, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys are looking for some sort of career shift or a career change here. Looking for something that you love to do here, okay? Looking for something that's more exciting and more fun. I mean, it could be something in the performing arts or something like that. It could be something where, you know, I, I, I do feel like it's, it could be something where, you know, you guys are like in front of a camera or something like that. Maybe you guys are blogging or vlogging or something like that. I could also see you guys doing a podcast here, okay? Because I am hearing current events here. So I feel like this is something that you want to talk about or this is something that you want to review or something like that. Okay. Queen of Wands here and the Three of Cups. Tell me the Two of Wands here. And the Seven of Swords. Make sure you also surround yourself with friend groups here that are supporting you on your journey here and they don't sabotage you. And you might be listening to people's words here, like gold here too. That could also be stopping you from actually pursuing what you want here. Um, uh, uh, Sagittarius, the three, two of wands here, not the two of wands, the two of pentacles and the eight of cups, the eight of pentacles here and the page of swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy with that page of swords here. I do feel like there's a sense of some, some of you guys wanting to go back to school here. Maybe study something that you're interested in or study something that you are passionate about here. I mean, this is another thing that I'm getting for so for some of you guys. Some of you guys could be might be studying something like very sciencey here or something like that. 
or some of you guys could be going back to like school to learn about you know computer stuff or technology here let's see what else do we have here for sagittarius what else does sagittarius need to know look out for work on here when it comes to the career and their money here for july 2023 sun moon rising venus signs uh jupiter and jupiter signs for sagittarius for sagittarius here oh we have the devil here and the empress here um, stay away from your mother and also your father here. Whoever this individual is, this is an individual that, uh, this is an individual of someone here who's non-supportive here. And I do feel like this is an individual that's very codependent. So I feel like this person relies heavily on you for everything. Okay. You know, such as finances, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know, wiping this person's butt. I don't know anything, but I just feel like this, this person is definitely very smothering. I do feel like this person has really tried to stifle your growth here because I feel like anything that you've always wanted to do here, I feel like this parent is just non-supportive here. Yeah. Six of Cups here and the world. So anything that this person has said, it's not really true. I, I do feel like there's a lack of like believing in yourself here. You know, I do feel like that has to sort of like, there There needs to be some sort of healing surrounding that. I do feel like someone here might have mommy issues. If it's not mommy issues, it's daddy issues. I feel like someone here was really hard on you for no reason at all here. I do feel like this is an individual that could be like, you know, a narcissistic, toxic individual here too. Um, a parent. The Eight of Wands here and the Justice card. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're going to be living your truth here. You know, some of you guys could also be living with your parents at this time. Maybe, you know, due to what happened during COVID or something like that, you guys might have had, had to move back home with your parents. And I feel like you might have stayed just for the convenience of, you know, trying to save money here. But I see you guys moving out. I see you guys moving out. Justice, Libra, Energy here, the Devil. The Seven of Pentacles here, the Empress here, and the Three of Wands here. This person's going to make you feel guilty for leaving. It's kind of like, how could you leave your own mother or your own father or something like that, you know? It's like they don't want you, whoever this is, I feel like this person's unconsciously doing it. It's like they don't want you to be happy. I mean, this person's definitely miserable here. I mean, they're miserable. And, you know, and sometimes misery likes company. So it's almost like, you know, this person's a black, is a black hole and you're, you're being sucked in, you know, and you're trying to get out and you can't. The world. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like you're just not going to let any more opportunities pass you by here. The Eight of Wands here, the Five of Pentacles, and the Justice card here, and the Page of Cups. It's almost like an energy of like, okay, I am kind of like, you know, struggling here, but... Like, I gotta start somewhere here, you know what I mean? So we have all these pages here where I feel like, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are taking the opportunities here maybe to apply for the jobs that you want, you know, perhaps go back to school here, you know, or, or, or just, you know, or, or just perhaps do something new on your own. But there's like ample opportunity that's coming in for you, okay? So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.